Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm here with Barb today. Mm -hmm. And we are at this flea market. Now they're calling it a flea market. However, what it really is, is an antique mall. I don't know why they called it that. Do you have a clue? No idea. We have no <laughs> idea. But we're gonna go ahead and go on in. This is the second time that we have been here. And so maybe we'll find something worth a lot, a lot of money and I can quit my, no, I already do this full time. <laughs> Anyways, let's see you inside. All right, so we just walked in and I found these really cool made in Japan items. This one is really cute. It's actually, well, this is just Japan, not made in Japan, but it is a lovely little covered dish for $5. Is that like a chip I right there? I think it's a paint missing. That's actually in really good shape. Minor crazing on the inside, but that is not bad for $5. What do you think? I Maybe, like I think I, I think should, you should. I'm gonna get it. Look at this guy. That's beautiful. <laughs> What do you got? He's a funny little guy. Oh, you're a funny little owl. <laughs> I just spotted this adorable milk glass bowl. I've never seen anything like it before, but they're wanting $20. It's hand painted, as you can see, with all of these flowers, and they are off, also embossed on here, but there's no mark either, so I really can't do any research on it. And at $20, I'm just gonna let it set here, but it is beautiful. I just wanted to capture it so you can see it. And if anybody happens to know anything about it, let me know down in the comments below. But isn't that really pretty? I think so. Very I found something. You oh, did? It's too bad it's $130. Oh no. Look at this. Oh, that's really cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, very awesome. These like amber. It would go perfect with my Halloween display. 130. I'm hoping that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. It's like this gingerbread cookie jar it says McCoy it just is marked USA that's really awesome and then I also found this little Balik guy right here it's like a little pitcher with this really delicate handle it is nine dollars and then I also added to my cart a couple of these shakers they're like made in Japan and they say that right on the bottom made in Japan and there's also these little Japanese characters which is strange see that they do have their corks still but these are a large size so these were five dollars for the set of salt and pepper and they are like in perfect shape just with crazing and then what are you doing oh, this more is stuff? A, you know what i was just looking at the tag and this is a brand of california pottery called day forest that i like some of their things but i don't like this that much yeah. i like the bee but then i don't like the bottom i don't know yeah so that's a repair i guess it looks like something mm. but mm. pretty cool look at these awesome tom collins glasses they've got like palm trees and a sailboat these are really awesome and it's a set of six for twenty dollars those are really cool but i don't need any tom collins glasses so we're just gonna let them set right there <laughs> just when the windows down it's a little warm in here all right so we just got out of this antique store i'm calling it that now that's what it is and i got a mitt in my mouth so we're gonna go to goodwill now and so maybe we can find something. Wow, it's warm. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. All right, they've got lots of these new carts out for us to look through. Do we see anything already? I don't want to lose our cart, so hopefully nobody takes it. Hand painted the pond. Oh, here's a little orange grove tree. Oh, it's made of cast iron. Holy mackerel. Look at this orange grove. Wow. Is there a, oh shoot, that's heavy. For $3? $3. I can't imagine shipping that thing, but. Yeah, that would be a little What do you think about this? I'll just get it, because it's kind of fun. We already, we already got some Nippon today. What do you think about this for a dollar? Um, Campaign in the pond. No. If you like it, I would. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I'm just gonna set it right there for now. I get how I shop at Goodwill is I put a bunch of stuff in the cart and then, and then I you think about it. it like, <laughs> I don't shop like that. I need to. I overthink it like every single time I pick something up, oh. and then it causes me to take forever. Duckaroonie. Okay, I want to go to the aisles. Oh, that's, wait, what does that even say? Can't tell. Should be bad. Uh, maybe this one says. 
<laughs> <laughs> I know they put them right over the things. It's not very heavy. I don't think it's anything exciting. This has a uh, yeah, crack right there. All right, I'm going to the aisles. The aisle. This place is really busy for a Friday at 12:30. What do you have there, Barb? Oh, we have a trio of interesting creatures. Oh my. Oh, these are gourds, I think. Oh yeah. Those wow. are strange little elephants. Oh, they're made of old quilts mm -hmm. too. That's what you all do with those quilts that you asked for from me. <laughs> you make gourd elephants. <laughs> There's a whole nother cart over here, apparently, in the back of the store. Nope, don't see anything. Now when did they make this? This is that Johnson Brothers thing, but this is called Farmhouse Chic. Oh. So is this a really new thing? This looks like the 90s to me. I know. I didn't know they made stuff into the 90s. Made what until the 90s? Or Johnson in Brothers. I didn't know that was a company that was, I thought that was like a company that was just old, older stuff that I'm not out of sure, business. but also you can see that it says dishwasher, freezer, and microwave. No, safe, I know it's which, new. I'm, I just think no, I I'm didn't just, know that. If you didn't know it, yeah, that would help. Pop. That would certainly All help. All the Johnson Brothers I come across is usually older, I thought. Okay, what do we got over here? A little trinket box. That's adorable. Made in Taiwan. I like this because of like the basket weave kind of uh -huh. look to it. But it's three dollars. What's the t what's the color today? Oh, we didn't look. Oh, it's yellow. Fifty percent off yellow. I hear. Oh, looky, looky. Six dollars. Yikes. Oh. Yikes. You're six dollars. Put your right back down. Uh, usually they travel in packs, so maybe it's made by Japan. It looks like. Look at, where have I heard Villaroy and Bach before? I don't know where you've heard of it before, but. I don't know, it's chipped. Anyway. Um, it actually, this one looks like a Joseph original. I know, that's what I was Oh, wait a minute, thinking. it is, because that's their Japan sticker that's they use. Joseph original, Joseph original uses the gold and black stamp like that. Or sticker, back sticker. Look at this little doggy. Hey, little doggy. It's a new doggy. You're a new doggy from Vietnam. Look at this rose. It's pretty nice. This is ENR Italy for two dollars. A couple little chips though. A couple more trinket boxes galore. Dollar General. It's amazing that they can do this kind of stuff for a dollar. You see all the detail? Mm -hmm. These are all hand applied flower petals. That's remarkable. Remarkable. Are we going this way? Well, that's the idea. That's the idea. Little ducky. Is that an ash tree? Yeah. to leave a cart behind. Well, just leave it there. You don't see anything down here. I don't either, if, unless you want a monkey with a hat. Yeah. Okay. All we found is... Barb, oh, I forgot I have to decide if I want that. Barb has to decide, and I'm gonna get my little orange tree. And that's about all we got, so, yeah. This is probably missing a lid, don't you think? Or not? I don't know. Maybe not. That I don't know. But it's cool for a dollar. Holla. Okay, so I talked Barb into getting the vase. So now I guess we're ready to check out, aren't we? Oh boy. I think so. I think so. All right, so that was pretty darn cool. We got a few things there. Well, two, two things. 
wasn't the best. I mean, this is actually a large town, so it was so busy, and it's Friday at one o'clock now, so I'm surprised, really. It just seems like everyone was out of work and on vacation at Goodwill. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end that video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I wasn't really that eventful between both places that we went, but oh no. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.